the woo was crazy. I'm like, <laughs> 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 I don't know. I thought that was great. That was a great Because, like, I feel like it was good. It was, yeah. it was, it was cool. I mean, it's cool. It's cool. It's cool. I feel like you just pick on me, bro. Nah, see, see, now I look like I'm hating. See, now it may look like I'm hating. See, you got to come in the frame, bro. Yo, what's good, everybody? We are back for the second annual Storm Awards, man. I'm going to be real. I didn't think we was going to do another one. I thought it was just like a random idea we had last year. Well, you know what I'm saying? It was just something a little, little cool. But I think this has been a very good year for anime, for music, and eh, not so much of a good year. Yeah, yeah. Not you know what I'm saying? A couple, a couple underdogs with some surprises. Yeah, you know what I'm you know saying? What I'm saying? There's been some cool stuff yeah. there. Uh, creators, we got a couple awards for some of y'all creators out there. So if you're a creator, make sure you tune in. Yeah, no, this has been dope. Great. We've had a good year. True. Yeah. True. We yeah. have some ups, yeah, yeah, yeah. some downs. You know what I'm saying? YouTube did us a little dirty, but you know what I'm saying? Other than that, it's been a pretty good year. I've enjoyed it a lot. Um, 4.7 million views on the Storm Podcast wow. this year. Wow. Uh, started a second show this year, Thunder Talks Thunder Podcast. Talks. Got a new member of the Storm this year, you know what I'm saying? Big outs. Yeah, no, it's been, it's been a very big year, um, and I can't wait for 2024 to be an even bigger one. Y'all got anything, y'all? You know what I'm saying? I think, I think um, this is going to be like genuinely like one of the biggest years for like I think 2024 for the storm in general is going to be a crucial year and I think for all of us individually as creators I think we're really going to get our shit going so I'm, I'm very excited very optimistic for yeah sure. I think it's going to be crazy true facts I think 2024 where everybody really about to hit their stride man mm. it's really about to be a different year and hey y'all really about to be getting some crazy content That's so true. watch out hey new days new changes just know <laughs> Yes, sir. <laughs> right. Without further ado, let's get into the Storm Award 2024. Let's get it. All right. We are going to start it off with the anime category. Now, we had a lot of people weighing in. We started off with nominations. So y'all went and nominated y'all favorite stuff. And then we moved forward with the actual voting process. In total, we had 434 votes in the categories. So this pretty much represents what y'all think, you know what I'm saying? And I want to make it clear, not all of these represent our views because I think y'all got a couple of these wrong. But we gonna kick it off with anime of the year. It's been an incredible year for anime, I'm gonna be real. We've gotten a lot of bangers, a lot of trash. Y'all sent me off on a couple of them, but I think this category really represents what went crazy this year. The nominations are Bleach, Thousand Year Blood War, Vinland Saga Season 2, Demon Slayer Season 3, One Piece, Attack on Titan, and Jujutsu Kaisen Shibuya Arc. In the second place position, we have One Piece. I'm going to be real. I don't watch One Piece, so that don't make sense to me, but I'm going to let y'all rock out. And in the first place position for anime of the year, I think we all knew what it was going to be. Jujutsu Kaisen Shibuya Arc. Let's get it. You are my special. Yo, what's good? It's E-Man, and we are here with the new Anime of the Year Award. This year, not gonna lie, we had some hitters. We had a lot of fire anime, but only one can be the Anime of the Year. So for the runner-up, we got Oshi no Ko. If y'all have already seen Oshi no Ko, y'all know the level of drama is insane. Shout out Oshi no Ko for being a runner-up. But for this year, we can only have one winner. And the number one spot goes to ZOM 100 Bucket List of the Dead. For me, it was a little lacking, but the art style, amazing. I could totally understand why it got number one. Hey, shout out to ZOM 100. ZOM 100 is trash. Heavenly Delusion got robbed. With C2 back again, this time I'm bringing you an award. This year, we had to go through all of the main characters from all the animes we've watched, and these are your responses. So, <laughs> the top five main characters of the year are Aaron Yeager, Yuji Itadori, Monkey D. Luffy, Ishigami Senku, and Thorfinn. Now, in second place, which is kind of unbelievable, we got Aaron Yeager. Aaron Yeager definitely was making some changes this year. Shout out. He had, to, he had to end it all just for the beginning. For main character of the year, we got Monkey D. Luffy. Monkey D. Luffy just hitting a new gear this year, completely changing everything. 
the beginning of One Piece has just started. All right, next award we have is main cast of the year. Now, I'm going to be real. The main character is very important, but they can't get it done without the homies. The homies got to put in work. So the nominations we have for main cast of the year are the Jujutsu Sorcerers, the Scouts from Attack on Titan, the Demon Slayers, the Straw Hat Pirates, and the Soul Reapers. I'm going to be real. This list a little, I'm not going to lie, it's a little shaky to me, but I'm going to let it rock. In second place, we have the Straw Hat Pirates, but the number one main cast this year goes to the Jujutsu Sorcerers. Now, I'm going to be honest with y'all. They got absolutely cooked this year. They did not put enough work in, and they got mowed down left and right. But I'm be real, I do think they deserve the award. So congratulations to the Jujutsu Sorcerers. All right, y'all. So we got a crazy award for Best Anime Villain of the Year. If y'all just been keeping up with the anime, y'all know it's crazy, crazy contenders this year. We had... Yahawatch? What is his name? <laughs> Kaido, Aaron Yeager, Mahito, Sukuna. Like, it was chaos. It was chaos for anime. But only one can win. For the runner-up, we had... Sukuna from Jujutsu Kaisen. If y'all watch this season, come on, bro. Y'all know nothing was topping that malevolent kitchen. He was really cooking. But only one can win. And the number one villain this year was Mahito from Jujutsu Kaisen. Number one and two from Jujutsu Kaisen. Number one being Mahito. Bro, you really can't, you can, really can't stop him right now. Like, he was really unbeatable until he was beat. But... He's still the GOAT. Shout out Mahito. Now, anime is not all about hands. But let's be real, it's about hands, bruh. So I'm here to bring y'all the best anime fights of 2023. Here are the nominations. We have Toji versus Megumi. Them rabbits was throwing them bitches. Gear 5 Luffy versus Kaido. Tanjiro and the Demon Slayers versus Hantengu. And Sukuna versus Jogo. There are some fantastic fights on this list. I'm going to be real. They was really throwing hands this year. The runner-up, we have Gear 5 Luffy versus Kaido. I can't speak on that. Y'all know I'm not a One Piece dude. But in the first place position, we have Jogo versus Sukuna. I'm going to be real. That fight was some absolute heat. I think it 1,000% deserves anime fight of the year. Hey, y'all was throwing them bitches. Stand strong. You can cook. Waifus come in many different forms. Jiggly, bouncy, and all the time. <laughs> y'all can't start laughing. Y'all gotta let me get this off. I do believe waifus come in very different forms. Some short, some tall, some jiggly, some not. But that's just what it is. But this year, our nominees are Mei Mei from Jujutsu Kaisen. Your Forger from Spy Family. Miriko from My Hero Academia, Nico Robin from One Piece, and Yuzuriha from Hell's Paradise. And in the number two spot, we have Your Forager. That is, that is hell of a woman, hell of a mom. We all love a MILF. And at the number one spot, you know I couldn't, you know I couldn't put her anything less than number one. Shout out Nico Robin. Beautiful woman, beautiful mind. We love Nico Robin. All right, y'all. So the next category we got is Husband of the Year. We had a lot of like crazy contenders, not gonna lie. Uh, so for the number two, wait, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. I really cannot believe what I'm reading. For the number two spot was Nanami Kento. How he wasn't number one is beyond me. Beyond me. But I'm going to let it rock. For the number one spot of Husbando of the Year, Gojo Satoru. I can see it. I can see it. I can see it. All right, y'all know me. I'm Mr. Anime Only, but I am here to give y'all the best manga of the year award. Now, I don't read manga, but y'all be trying to spoil me hella. I'm not going to lie. So I have heard a little bit of talk 
of a couple of these. So the nominees are Blue Lock, Jujutsu Kaisen, One Piece, Kagurabachi, and My Hero Academia. I'm going to be real. It's crazy Kagurabachi and win. That's a generational talent right there. In second place position, we have One Piece. No surprise there. Y'all love One Piece. In the first place position, we have, no surprise to anybody, we all knew what it was going to be, Jujutsu Kaisen. Let's get it. With the help of you guys this year, we have picked the anime openings of the year. The top five were Song of the Dead, Zom 100, Aono Sumika from Jujutsu Kaisen Hidden Inventory Arc, Jigo Karaku from Hell's Paradise, Specials from Jujutsu Kaisen Shibuya Arc, Kizuna no Kisuke from Demon Slayer. In the number two spot, we have Aono Sumika from Jujutsu Kaisen Hidden Inventory Arc. And to make it a back-to-back, -back, the number one spot, Specials, also from Jujutsu Kaisen. It was an amazing, se it was an amazing anime this season. It, it literally won every <laughs> category. We can't complain. All right, so for this category, we got biggest anime flops, and this year had some bad ones. For the nominees, we got Mashal, Magic and Muscles, Zom 100, Bucket List of the Dead, Tokyo Revengers, and Konosuba, an explosion on this wonderful world. For the runner-up, we got Konosuba. And man, was it bad. I had high hopes for it because Konosuba season one was so fire. And they threw it all in the garbage. So, such a shame. But there was one that really took the cake on this one. And that was Tokyo Revengers this year. And whoa, it was hot garbage. Tokyo Revengers, fix up next season. Please. Please. All right. That is it for the anime section. Next up, we got music. Let's be real. There was a lot of good music this year. There was a lot of bad music this year. It was just a lot of music this year. So, let's get into it. Y'all ain't seen Ouchie in a while, so let's bring him up and have him read us the first category. Thank you. Thank you. Appreciate it. Appreciate it. Uh, thank you guys for that warm welcome. Um, next up, we have our music section. We got Album of the Year. Um, this year with music, just as Malcolm said, it's been a, just a lot of music that released, um, a lot of ups, a lot of downs, a lot of upsets from artists that I thought were going to deliver. Um, but uh, a lot of highs from artists, from like underdogs. Um, so as far as nominees, we have Drake with For All The Dogs. We have Travis Scott with Utopia. We have um, Metro Boomin with Spider-Man, uh, the Across the Spider-Verse soundtrack. Um, and then we have the Pink Tape from Lil Uzi. Um, honestly, none of these really call out to me. I'm gonna do an honorable mention. Let's start here by Lil Yachty. That's 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 my album of the year. Um, but let's get into it. So the the runner up, uh, the runner up is gonna be Travis Scott with Utopia. I don't get it. I don't care for Travis Scott. I don't care for Utopia. It was okay to me. It's more like theatrical. I don't really care for that. I just need some good music. So congratulations to Travis Scott with Utopia for the runner up. Um, for the Storm Award for album of the year, we're gonna give it to. No, you guys gave it to Metro Boomin with Spider-Man Across the Spider-Verse. A lot of bangers on here. We got Calling with Sway Lee. Um, and who is it? Sway Lee, A Boogie, and Nav. Fantastic song. Beautiful. Hits me in the heart. Um, so congratulations to Metro Boomin, Spider-Man Across the Spider-Verse. Mic drop. There's a lot of dope artists. There's a lot of trash artists. But right here, we're talking about the Artist of the Year. The nominees for Artist of the Year are... Taylor Swift, hey, I'm gonna be real, she had a fantastic year, bro. I'm a Swifty, y'all, I'm gonna be real. Y'all might not know that about me, but I'm a Swifty. From this list, I might've gave it to her. Um, Okay, Drake, J. Cole, what's that? You said J. Cole's trash? You said, oh, okay. Make sure y'all beat his ass later. Um, SZA, Yeet, and Beyonce, the runner up is Yeet. I don't know how to, oh no, it's not, my bad. Sorry, I misread it, my bad, my bad, sorry. It's not, no, my bad, my bad. <laughs> the runner up is J. Cole, you know what I'm saying? He had a good year. Did he even drop an album? He didn't even drop an album this year. 
How did he? Man, y'all like J. Cole a lot. Like he's <laughs> I don't know how that happened. Okay. For the winner of the Artist of the Year, we have, this is no surprise, Drake. This one is for all the non-believers, the underachievers, the tweeting deleters. Mm -hmm. My man, Drake, Anita Maxween. All right, our next category for music is biggest album flop. Um, uh, can we get somebody? Security, we get somebody right there. There are only three nominees, um, which are Jack Harlow with Jackman. I don't think, I think I maybe listened to one song off that album. Um, let's start here with Lil Yachty. Not sure why this album's on here as biggest album flop. I love this album. Um, and then Lil Pump 2 with, or Lil Pump with Lil Pump 2. All right, so for runner up for biggest album flop, we have Jack Harlow with Jackman. Like I said, I did not listen to the album. I don't listen to Jack Harlow personally, so whatever. All right, the winner of the biggest album flop of the year is Lil Pump with Lil Pump 2. Uh, I think we all saw this coming. A lot of people were actually hyped. A lot of people were like hitting me up because I used to listen to Lil Pump like back in 2017, 2018. A lot of people were hitting me up. I, w I went to listen to it. Absolute garbage. Complete flop. I think he could have maybe, you know what I'm saying, done something if he cared about the album, but he didn't at all clearly because that shit was ass. Lil Pump with Lil Pump 2, biggest album flop of the year. Next up, we have the creator category. I'm gonna be real with you. This is my favorite part of the show. This is really what we do the show for. As small creators ourselves, we wanna do our best to give shine to other small creators, use our platform to shine a light on others, and that is what this is for. The first category in the creator award is streamer of the year. You know, I don't really spend that much time on Twitch. At least I didn't before this year. This year, I really started to get into Twitch and started streaming and watching other streamers. And I'm be real, all the people who are nominated definitely deserve it. Also, y'all nominated us for this category a bunch of times. We're not giving ourselves a fucking award. Come on, get real. Um, all right, the nominees for Streamer of the Year are Some Soba, Omizi, Real Slim John, Tokyo Sama Gaming, and Curly Headed Shinobi. I've actually spent time in all of these people's chats. I've had a great time watching all their stream. Uh, I wish we could give it to everybody, but we can't. In the second place position, we have Curly Headed Shinobi. I love her streams. Her streams are a blast. She's been killing it. Make sure to go check her out. But in the first place position, we got my boy, Tokyo Sama Gaming. Shout out Tokyo, man. He been killing this year. He been going crazy, streaming, doing all types of shit. That's my boy, and he definitely deserves this award. You deserve it, man. Congratulations. All right, so this category, we got creator of the year, man. Shout out all the creators that have been killing it this year we recognize all your hard work and real talk it's been paying off because a lot of y'all really have been going crazy so for the nominees we got the official megs some soba you seen that guy and taylor senpai for the runner-up for creator of the year is taylor senpai if y'all have seen those tracksuits man them tracksuits really go crazy. And if you ever want to, you know, just uh, slide one my way, I, I happily take one. Go Joe's Domain. No, nah, let me stop. Uh, <laughs> and then for the number one creator of the year, it's my boy, Sum Soba. If y'all y'all all know Sum Soba, y'all know he really be cooking in the lab day after day after day. You always see him TikTok, Twitch, YouTube. I've literally never seen a creator as dedicated to the game as some soba has been especially this year so yo shout out some soba keep doing your thing we love you bro next up we have the indie comic slash manga of the year i'm gonna be real i'm not a real manga reader but i do rock with some indie manga it goes crazy and you can support some of your favorite creators in doing so so let's get into the nominations we have the uncommons seeds of ia black sun ace blade and 10 pins. These are all fire stories. I've at least skimmed through all of them. Uh, I think they're all great series. In the second place position, we have Ace Blade. Shout out Ace Blade. Danny Quick, you've been killing it over on the TikTok wave and been going crazy on the Ace Blade for years now. Uh, you deserve it. And in the first place position, we have Black Sun. 
Shout out to Black Sun, man. Y'all have been going crazy over on Webtoon. I think every manga and comic in this category definitely deserved it. But shout out to y'all for getting the number one spot. And the nominees for Podcast of the Year, Gotta Hate em Podcast, Otaku's Anonymous, Keeping It 9000, The Relentless Diaries, and Let's Keep It a Buck. Now, this might have been the first time all awards where we actually have a second place dead tie. So, got, I want to name them both. Keeping It 9000 and Otaku's Anonymous, you guys both tied. Both of you guys had an amazing year this year. Now, I would have loved for an anime podcast to take number one, but it was not an anime podcast. It was our friends over at Let's Keep It A Buck. Shout out B-Souls, shout out Sage, shout out Damo, and shout out Omar. This, this has been an amazing year. It was amazing meeting you guys at DreamCon, and... Hope you guys have a blessed year. As an anime podcast, you know we respect the good cosplay. Honestly, I would love to cosplay myself. I might ask some of y'all for tips. Here are the nominations for Cosplayer of the Year. We have Evencia XO, Rene Goddess, Boykins Cosplay, and Annie Mako Cosplay. Y'all all been killing it. I seen what y'all been doing this year. Y'all killing the game. I take a little bit of inspiration off of y'all. In the second place position, we have Boykins Cosplay. He's been killing it all year. I've seen this T'Challa. I've seen this Killer B. Go crazy, man. You deserve it. In the first place position, we have Renee Goddess. Cosplay after cosplay after cosplay. She's been killing it. Every single one, knocking them out of the park. Keep killing the cosplays. We appreciate you in the cosplay and anime community. All right, so that's going to do it for our creator section. Uh, it's going to bring us to our media section. Uh, the first category that we have in the media section is Video Game of the Year. Um, in our circle, video games are very prevalent. Um, I love myself some video games. Um, as far as nominees go, we have a pretty stacked list. We have Baldur's Gate 3. We got Legend of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom, one of my personal favorite game series of all time. I love Legend of Zelda. Um, Marvel's Spider-Man 2 and Fortnite. Uh, all right, for the runner-up, crazy, so crazy. We have Fortnite. Uh, Fortnite absolutely killed it this year. Blew everybody's mind. It went from just a battle royale. No, no, no. It went from the greatest battle royale of all time to a bunch of different games. We got Rocket Racing, Malcolm's personal favorite. We got Lego Fortnite, which is like a Minecraft competitor. Super fun. Um, and then we got a Fortnite Festival, kind of like Guitar Hero, that, that sort of thing. Fortnite win? What you talking so long for? I love Fortnite. I love Fortnite. That's, that's the winner in my heart. Um, but there's only one winner. The, the real winner is Marvel's Spider-Man 2. I know a lot of people love that game. That's one of Soba's main games. He loves some Spider-Man. Uh, if it's one thing about Soba, he's going to repost Spider-Man content on his TikTok, and he's going to play it on YouTube. Um, but shout out to uh, Marvel Spider-Man 2. I still have to play it, but I have seen clips. It does look like an amazing game. Shout out to Marvel Spider-Man 2 for winning Game of the Year. All right, y'all. So for this category, we got Movie of the Year. And this year, we have some pretty big contenders. For our nominees, we had the Barbie movie, Oppenheimer, Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 3, and Spider-Man Across the Spider-Verse. And for our runner-up, we got Oppenheimer. So I've never actually seen Oppenheimer, but I've seen reviews of it, seen little clips of it. Looks like an amazing mu 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 <laughs> <laughs> Shout out Oppenheimer for getting that runner-up spot. And for the number one spot, the winner of movie of the year, we got Spider-Man Across the Spider-Verse. Everybody in the world... And a mama saw this movie, loved this movie, one of the best Spider-Man movies to ever be made. Can't wait for the next one. Shout out Spider-Man for winning. Hey, there was more than just anime on our list this year. Today, uh, I don't know, today, nigga? Today? What, what tomorrow? <laughs> like, like, fuck. We also had a category for TV show of the year. The nominees are Invincible, my Adventures with Superman, Adventure Time, Fiona and Cake, Loki, and Gen V. For runner-up, we have Loki. 
Now, I personally would have gave it to Fiona and Cake, but I understand where everybody's coming from, especially with the number one spot. The number one spot being... You know Mark's dad is back, and it's all over from here. Y'all know we be having some crazy slang over here. We be talking. We be doing our own thing. This is the Category 4 Best Phrase of the Year. It's a lot of funny shit that got said this year. Let's find out what's the best one. The nominees are Nah, I'd Win, Standing on Business, Let Him Cook, and Blank, 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 Before We Got GTA 6. The runner-up is Nah, I'd win. And the number one position for best phrase of the year, we have let him cook. Hey, let us cook, gang. Our final category of the night. It's been a fun night. A lot of awards given out. Shout out to everybody who's won. Shout out to all the runner up. Shout out to everybody that's been nominated because um, it's been a really fun night. Our last category of the night is fast food of the year. A lot of places have taken a downturn a lot of places have come back burger king um unfortunately burger king's not on this list honorable mention all right so the nominees for fast food of the year are taco bell chick-fil-a kfc popeyes and mcdonald's all right our runner up for this category is mcdonald's um i'm not sure how the audience is also not sure how, uh, because McDonald's, I think last year, they started taking a, a deep down dive. Now it's one of the most expensive fast food joints, and it's garbage. I just can't fuck with McDonald's, but I'll give flowers where flowers are due. McDonald's, um, congratulations on winning the runner-up category for food of the year. All right, and the winner for food of the year coming in the number one spot is Chick-fil-A. I think Chick-fil-A has steadily been one of the greater fast food restaurants for um, a few years or maybe a few more than a few years now. Um, but it goes to Chick-fil-A. I did fall off of Chick-fil-A for a little bit when Dave's Hot Chicken kind of came around. But um, I, I did get back on the Chick-fil-A when you need just like a, a good, a well put together spicy chicken sandwich. I'm going to Chick-fil-A for sure. So shout out to Chick-fil-A and their rewards program is fantastic. I don't know if you guys have the app. I have the app. I get free stuff all the time. Not as frequently as I once did, um, but I still get free stuff all the time. So check out Chick-fil-A. Shout out to Chick-fil-A for winning the fast food of the year. Congratulations, Chick-fil-A. Yeah. This has been a fantastic awards and a fantastic The Storm Awards. Damn. Well. I, uh... <laughs> Damn, well... <laughs> Let's go. Let's go. Uh -huh. You know what I'm saying? Thank y'all so much for pulling up. This has been a fantastic The Storm Awards. Year two! Hey, can we do three? You already know. Absolutely. You already know. Is it just me or does it feel like we got back here very fast? Like, I feel like... Dude, yeah. this year right, kind of like shot past. Yeah, we're going to be doing the next one. Hey, next time, we want to have a real live audience. We want y'all to be here with us, uh, actually heckling us. Y'all didn't see the edits. This took a lot of work to put together. <laughs> so we appreciate y'all for tuning in, man. Thank y'all so much. Uh, y'all got anything to say? We're going to get like some real awards, bro. Next want, year, bro. Oh, a be, lightning bolt would fire. be so hard. Oh, that that's going to be hard, hard, bro. 2024. No. Yeah, the 2024 I guess that would be, yeah, awards. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The Storm Awards 2024. That We're gonna have real so awards. Fun. We're gonna have real people in the crowd. We're gonna bring in the people to give them their awards live. Yeah. yeah. Especially all the musical yeah. artists yeah. and all the all the restaurants too. They go well, to No, I'm saying we we're still gonna like give, but we can like hand them to the creators. Yeah. Oh, like they yeah, could come yeah, up and be like, here you go. You right. deserve this. Yeah, 100%. 100%. And then they can say, yeah. 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 I think I think that'd be awesome. 100%. Thank y'all so much for tuning in. We've had an incredible year. Um, we want 2024 to be even better. By the time y'all are seeing this, it'll already be 2024. So let's go ahead and keep killing 2024. We love y'all. We out. Peace.